can step outside and seize the day now. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Timber Time Outdoors here. Today's video is all about why you need a grapple for your tractor. Learned a few things over the last couple years. Talked about some mistakes I made. Um, we'll talk a little bit about the different designs of grapples and um, just why I really love it and how useful it is. So thanks for being with us and let's keep it in the timber. Right, guys we're here at the hunting property and uh, we're looking at the grapple that we have on our MX 5800 aka Max and I want to talk a little bit about grapples and what I've learned about them so when I first bought one uh, I knew nothing and uh, just went out and bought the first thing that I got my eyes on didn't research them very well and ended up buying a, a one that was for a skid steer and the reason I bought that one was it had the right spacing, um, just really liked the design of it for, for my firewood application. And what I found out, it was too heavy for this particular tractor. And so it could lift it, but when you got a load in there, it just was all tippy. And so uh, I, I didn't really realize that the weight of the implement matters. Um, so live and learn on that one, right? So we ended up taking that one back and we got a small, a, a lighter one. And this one here, if you can see the spacing on these tines is about nine inches. And I think on the one that I had before was like four inches. Uh, so, so good from a, a lighter perspective, you know, it, it's, it's a much lighter unit. Um, but I do find sometimes things fall through. Now, sometimes that's good, sometimes that's bad. So, you know, give and take there. But what I really like about this particular one, aside from the weight issue, is that it's, it's more like a bucket. So you'll find some uh, grapples that have very short, lower tines and they're more like a root rake type of thing so you can kind of dig it down into the dirt and and lift out anything that's uh, maybe growing in the ground that you want to till up um, so different 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 application and some of those uh, grapples that are designed for a tractor they also have one clamp on the top so one cylinder one clamp and i didn't want that i that design the main reason was is a lot of times the load that you're clamping on is uneven okay so if it's one great big clamp, it's gonna grab on one side, not on the other. So I wanted two individual uh, cylinders and clamps, and this one provided that. And I find that that's really great because when I go into a brush pile, or I'll you know show you some action shots here later, that uh, you know it can even itself out, really hold on to that load. So for me, this was a great design. Um, but be aware that there are other grapples, and um, you know some of them might fit your application better. So the ones with short tines, uh, they're excellent. I know Land Pride makes a really good one um, for tractors, obviously, right? They're tractor implement uh, manufacturer. So, um, so keep that in mind when you're looking is that weight is important. And I would say the, the lower design and your tine spacing, look at those things and kind of figure out what you need. And then um, the upper design is also something that I was, um, I was aware of and wanted to, to make sure I had.
look at the model number and the brand. This is a stout brand. It's manufactured in Nap, Wisconsin. Very close to me actually, and uh, so it was very easy for me to get. Um, also, the model number is called the Brush Grapple 66 9. It stands for 66 inches wide with 9 inch space tines on the bottom. And you can see the profile of the bucket here, uh, the grapple. It looks like a bucket and uh, holds a lot of material. Um, some of the loose material will fall through, which is a good thing um, if you're trying to get dirt uh, to fall through. So really like this design, uh, worked out well for me. One of the things you need on your tractor to control a grapple is a third function valve. And you can see that here, these are the hoses that lead up to the front of the bucket. And on your joystick, you also have a couple of buttons for open and close, and that helps you um, control the load and grab onto things. Um, these uh, valves cost a lot of money. They're about $800 to $1,000. So um, I would get this on your tractor when you first buy it, get it into the financing. Makes it a heck of a lot easier to afford, and you won't have to take that pain later. So if you think you might want to grapple, get that third function valve put on. It can be used for a lot of different things. So another thing that I wanted to point out here is when you're using a grapple with a tractor and you're into a lot of brush, a lot of times sticks will come flying through here. Uh, and you can't see very good from the deck of a tractor. If you've ever driven a tractor, you know what I'm talking about. It's hard to see what's actually going on down here. So um, I don't know how well you'd be able to see this guys, but not too good there. You can see how the, the tractor is all smashed. So I almost lost my radiator. So I guess the, the moral of the story here is to use uh, get some kind of a brush guard on you. The, these tractor manufacturers don't do a very good job of making those brush guards effective. So another thing to look for are your hydraulic hoses that are on top that are actually controlling your cylinders. Um, they're somewhat vulnerable to debris and sticks and so forth. Um, I haven't had any hoses come off, but I've seen that happen where a stick will just basically rip the hose right off or it'll, it'll wreck one of your connectors. Um, I bought this um, nylon webbing to kind of protect these hoses a little bit, but I've seen some designs, again it's weight, but they actually shroud those hoses with metal and so they're very protected. Um, I would say that's maybe something that this thing could do better is protect these hoses and you know I haven't had any trouble but um, you know there's a connection right here this is very vulnerable to anything you know hitting that or coming off so the other thing that uh, I wish I would have done differently is when we installed the third function so this is the hydraulic system that goes up for the third function um, I just put pioneer couplers on because that's what was on the whole tractor and they were inexpensive I wish I would have done the flat face uh, skid steer connections they're a lot more uh, expensive but they're a lot easier to do so a lot of times there's hydraulic pressure built up in here and you have to fiddle with the handle a lot to get these to release um, and, and I think it's just worth the money if you know I didn't know what I didn't know at the time but that's something that I would have done differently so protect the hoses and uh, and change out those couplers when you're working in the timber things don't always go as planned about an hour after I made this video I snapped off one of the hose connections here and you can see it's broken so I had to have that replaced. Hey guys that's going to do it for our video here with the grapple on a tractor. Um, by far number one implement that we have super useful so if you're uh, hedging about buying one relax take the plunge you'll really really like it. Uh, so thanks for being with us for this video. Uh, if you like the content please subscribe we'll bring you more stuff this summer. Smash that like button share with your friends and keep it in the timber everybody bye bye